First of all, dissolve the yeast in the water. The water and the flour should be the same weight. Mix it all up. Make sure there's no dried flour and simply put something airtight over it and leave it on the kitchen counter overnight. You come back the next day, could be eight, 12 hours. We've got this frothy, beautiful poolish dough, which is basically a starter. This is part two. We're going to add flour, salt, water, Mix it all up, some people add sugar, some people add a bit of olive oil. Then we add our poolish, our starter, into the mix and we make sure everything's nicely combined. As simple as that. All the quantities are in the description of the video. Once we've got everything mixed, we then knead our dough for 10 minutes. As you can see, it's very silky now. A little bit of olive oil to stop the dough sticking and we're going to do a second proof or resting time or fermentation, whatever you want to call it, for eight to 12 hours. And look at this great dough. And um, adding that little bit of olive oil really stops your dough sticking. As you can see, it's very easy to remove. This is enough for four pizzas. Simply divide your dough up into four pieces and work very gently to ball up your pizzas. You don't want to push the air out. So be very gentle and that's it. We, I let those balls rest for about another four hours. Then again, a little bit of um, olive oil, and then we can start our wonderful pizza production. So that is it. No information overload, nice and simple.